The position is super simple. One knee is gonna be on top of the leg, okay, not true, just on top of the leg to try to maintain the leg more open to the side and wide. The elbow is gonna be on top of the leg and the most important detail is don't give your foot to your partner, okay? Usually when you have one leg between the legs, the person will make a grip in your, in your pants or in your ankle and that make you get slowly and stuck, okay? The goal is making this position here. When you have your toes back, and you just give the upper body to the person control, okay? The person's gonna be stepping your hips, the person's gonna pull guard with the foot and the hips, and you guys gonna make this grip, look. I started to explain to you guys about this grip. Stand and grab the pants like this. When it's too a, high, a lot of uh, space to hit circle his legs, either on top or underneath, I want you guys to make this grip. When you grab a lot of material and you always hang in the pants, okay? to make it harder to the person palm of the leg. Okay, I know it's a small detail, but it make a lot of difference in the fight, okay? If you just make whatever grip, if the gi is big or the person is super flexible, the person is gonna find a way to step in you and you're gonna get stuck, okay? Try to make this grip here when you, you lean the person and you apply pressure down the entire time. The grip in the corner, you guys need to use your elbow on top of the leg. And look how it's hard to hit play the la Riva. Okay, really, really hard to hit play the La Riva. Totally different than be here, when the person can easily play the La Riva. Okay, I need to try to maintain my toes, and I always lean on him. Okay, yesterday I explained to you guys a principle, what is really important to you guys try to use every time you get on top. You need to put the weight in the person to make the person comfortable, okay? If the person don't feel any pressure, it's easy to play guard, okay? And trust me, I play guard my entire career, so you need to have some wave on the person, okay? Try to apply pressure on the person. Each out, lose your balance. You're not gonna be like too much over because you're gonna lose your balance, but in the same time, you need to be lean. You cannot have your weight like a pack like this, okay? Just when you need to rest. But if you, even in like a resting, I prefer to rest more over the guy like this, okay? Usually when that happens, have a little bit of action reaction, okay? When I push against him, Usually the person tries to push me back, okay? When the person push you back, think about this, look. If I push his leg towards this way and he's pushed back, it's towards this direction, right? That's when I'm gonna drag his leg. That's when I'm gonna release the pressure and drag the leg through. I'm not gonna try to dra drag the leg through when the person is still here. I'm gonna push and when I feel he's pushing back, that's when I'm gonna drag the leg, okay? So I'm gonna push, look. When I start to, when I start to feel he's pushing back, I have a two ways to do the pass. Or I'm gonna move myself, push. Or I'm gonna move myself a little bit from outside to create a little bit of room. And I drag the leg and I cross my elbow and my knee on the side of his hips. Okay, I want your knee and your elbow on the side of the hips. So yesterday I explained that if the person stay, of course I'm gonna hug the head and my elbow is gonna block the hips and stabilize. If the person turn towards you, you top spin, and you're gonna regrip in the collar to keep attacking the back, okay? And if the person turn out, you have all the options you work during last week and this week, okay? So the drill is gonna look like this. The other way to do, just you don't forget, is doing more like a high step, looks like a, a X pass, but you are not in head course position, okay? I feel the X pass with the gi, when you get the head course position, the person always grab your leg, and it's very hard to do X pass. Your leg is stuck, okay? It's so hard to do X pass. You're gonna do the pass, that kind of like X pass motion from here. So same thing, I apply pressure here, and when it starts to push me back, I do a high step, and I put the leg off the way, okay? I think for the right ranks, this works better, okay? And I'm gonna block the hips like that. So the drill is the person gonna start standing, you know when the person pulls guard, they're gonna step the foot of the hips. And I want you guys right away, don't do this, look. I don't want this. Okay, I want you guys to avoid doing this. Because right away the person's gonna control your ankle and it's gonna start to attack you and you guys gonna get stuck. So the approach is this, look. You guys gonna stay super low, you know the person's gonna pull. When the person pull, I wanna really like get Look, on top of the leg. Okay, elbow outside. Apply pressure, and the person starts to push you back, 
You either moving back, create a little room and drag, or you high step and drag, and you stop in the hips. Okay, for now, you guys can just stabilize the pass and block the hips. Then you're gonna to start to combine with the back pace. Okay? So guys are gonna be here, the person pulls. Look, look at my knee, he'll go on top of the leg. Okay, but I make sure I don't lose your balance to the side. Okay, okay, you guys cannot lean too much this way. Okay, your knee just pin, you control, apply pressure on the person, you start to feel the person pushing you back, you put it off the way, and you pass blocking everything, okay? So from here, hug the neck, drop the hips, and sit light. Okay, let's wrap up doing that, back and forth. The person who is gonna pull, try to mirror the grips, okay? If you grab with the right hands, right leg forward, as an ego between the legs, okay? As soon as the person pulls, the grip needs to be in the leg, look. Look again. Don't hang with the sleeve control. When you feel the person step, look. I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, if I know my partner's gonna pull guard, I like to move a little bit back, look. It's a little bit easier to stop the motion. When you're moving forward, when the person pulls, you help the guy, look. Look, look how it's hard. Okay, the person get underneath your hips. So it's better like if you, if you wanna play talk, it's a device I give you, I always do that. If I wanna play talk, my goal, I, I always move it slow back, look. Look how it's easier to change my, my level and get a good position, okay? Back and forth. One, two. Let's go. So look, when Omar pull with the foot in the same side of the sleeve, so first the leg is going to be a little bit more away. And if I try to place my knee there, it's not there. Look. Okay, look how it's hard to, look how I don't have an angle. Okay. One thing is really important in this position is this. Look. First, I don't stay in front of him. I need to create a little bit of angle. Then my knee go off the floor. And I need to jig my knee inside. Okay, so I place my knee, he's pushing against me. I place my knee off, off the floor, look, my knee go off the floor and jig my knee inside with my elbow. And then I end up exactly the same spot. Okay, so most of the people are doing with the knee of that. What is not wrong? Okay, guys, but I want you guys to use your knee blocking the hips. Okay, because you want to try to avoid the bottom while coming. Okay, sometimes even with the knee on that, the person will throw out and start to place the bottom leg in and the mind doesn't lose it. Okay, I want like, here. Okay, so your elbow and your knees pretty much almost like that. Okay? If, just so you guys understand, like during sparring, if you feel the leg is too much extend, then I prefer either the long stepping, stepping back. So I okay, step back and I disappear here look, on top of the leg because the leg lose pressure on me. Or if the other leg's too much away from me, I like the cross grip in the pants. So let's say the, le the leg's too much away. I go here look, and I do a step back and this leg drop down. Okay? Just you guys like a no, okay? These three options work very, very well. But what is important in all three is the angle of the position. You need to create angle. You cannot fight against the leg. You cannot be square. Okay, in all three options. So he pulls. So let me control the leg. Now look my knee. I create angle, my knee go off the floor and I kick. And then I start to win with my elbow. Okay, look how he doesn't have a chance to play with the other knee. Okay, different than if I go here and give him my leg. I need to kick and look at high my, my toe. Where I just make a ball. Okay? Get it? You guys understand? You guys can do all three options if you want. You can use the same pass. So dig the knee. You guys can use the long step. So look the angle. I'm not here. I'm already in the side. Look. I step back, drop my knee, away from him. Look. You guys see how I drop my knee away from him? And I have the long step. Just to finish in the same position, so we try to put over the top, 
Então, eu tive que doar com eles, exatamente esse rolê. Ok, deixa eu correr esse encontro. Alright, guys, can go. So let's say I cannot find this grip. I'm not gonna find like this because I'm gonna get triangle. Right away, go here. I step back, his legs gonna drop. And then you guys know, like, usually the person gonna start to place this frame. And then, then you need to start to think about the frame, okay? I'm not gonna explain that because we have done before, so you guys know how to do. So, I'll quit. In the night class as well. I have been using a lot of with the competitors a type of exercise. In my opinion, when you have a little bit better understanding about what you're doing, uh, transfer way better to a fight situation. Okay, standing do techniques when you have a one or two or three options to do, and you work based on options and you know the steps. What you're gonna do is this: the person bottom is gonna play open guard like a 30%. Okay, like not much, but I give you a little bit of action. Okay, like a stepping, framing, put her body in the right position. Okay, you're not gonna be on bottom right. I need to defend and uh, you don't even think about what you're doing. I want you guys to try to be focused when you're on bottom. Try to, to see what is the right place to place your frames. You don't need to make too much grips, you know, more like an open hands and stepping, hooking the leg, you try to find a way to slow the person down a little bit. And what I want, the person top, you guys are gonna be combiner moves. You don't need to pass in the first pass. You don't need to pass in the second, uh, the second attack you do. You don't need to pass in the third attack. You can pass in the, in the uh, fifth attack. You, you don't need to pass right away the guard. Of course, if you feel you have the pass, you pass and you stabilize. What I want, the way, the way how you're gonna initiate the pass doesn't matter. It can be double pants, or it can be corner sleeve, but you need to finish with the grips I explained today. Okay, you need to finish with collar and pants, passing to the side of the pants. Okay, because come here. Because what I want is you guys connect with the back take here after. Okay, so after you get here, you're gonna end up in this position. Okay, sometimes you're gonna end up in leg drag position. If the person turn away from you, duck in the elbow, okay. You guys gonna do the option, slide the hook in, take in the back. If the person plays the elbow on the floor, you guys gonna slide your knee inside. If the person turn it too fast, and you still have a hips control, you guys gonna bring your knee inside, hook in the leg and take the back. And if you start to go in here, the person starts to put the back on the floor, you're gonna follow the guy, getting out the way and take the back. You always need to finish the drills on the back of your partner. Okay? Same thing. Exactly the same thing. If you pass and the person starts to turn in, you're gonna top spin, you're gonna find your collar grip, and then from here is the same thing. Exactly the same system. Nothing changed. The only difference you need to add the top spin over the head. Okay? I don't want you guys to do fast because you guys need to learn how to do the drills, okay? And every time you finish in the back, you switch about on top. Okay, like I say, you don't need to pass in one minute, you can pass in two minutes. You don't need to pass in 30 seconds. That makes sense? I want you guys to see and keep combining moves. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys an example, just so you guys see. And then, you guys are gonna do the drills. Stay here.
Make sense? You see how it's low, but a precise, because what happens? I feel more you create this action reaction motion, during the sparring, it's easier to see, you know? If you start to do it slow, you're gonna think and you're gonna do it. But during sparring, you're gonna see, you're gonna do it right away, okay? That's the type of training I wanna implement here, you know? Like, a, be like less born, you know, boring, and be more active and transfer better uh, to a fight situation, in my opinion. That makes sense? Let's go. One, two.